Hello students, in the previous video we discussed on the properties of collides that is Tyndall effect and Brownian moment. In this video we will be going to discuss an another important properties of collides that is charge on colloidal particles. Let us discuss this property. As we know that colloidal solution are quite stable. That means they does not undergo precipitation or we can say coagulation unless we add a electrolyte. So the one reason which we have already discussed the stability is due to the stirring effect in Brownian moment we have discussed. The other reason of stability is also that uh, the particles uh, are actually they are in repulsion. The particles are undergoing repulsion. So when they are rippling each other, the particles will not come closer. So because of this reason only, the particles will not get precipitated. Now the question arises why the particles are rippling each other because we know that the same charges always ripple each other. That means here the particles have some same charges. Let this particle is a positive charge. That means all the charges, all the particles in a given solution have same charges. Because of the same charges, they are actually rippling each other. So it shows that because of the presence of same charges on each particle, they are rippling each other. That means they are quite stable. So we can conclude that the particles of the colloidal solution possesses electrical charge. It may be positive or negative and the presence of charge on the particle is responsible for the stability of solution. These charge may be positive or negative and the nature of the charge is the same on all the particles in a given colloidal solution. It means if the colloidal solution have the particles positive that means all the particles in that solution is positive. It is not like that one particle is positive the other one is negative. No. Whatever particles are there in a given solution should be of same charge. Here are some examples of positively charged souls and negatively charged souls. You can check the examples. Usually the hydrated metallic hydroxides. Sorry, metallic hydrated metallic oxides. Like uh, the examples are given. These are usually positively charged. Metal hydroxides like ferric hydroxide, FeOH whole thrice, AlOH whole thrice. CROH whole thrice. These are also positively charged souls. Some basic dye like methylene blue is also positive. And the most the natural colloidal solution that is blood. In that it is also positively charged because of hemoglobin. Now negatively charged souls. The very good example is starch soul which we have prepared in the laboratory it is actually negatively charged soul and the same way gelatin gum are also negatively charged souls and usually the metal souls that is copper gold silver platinum all these are also negatively charged souls and some sulfide souls that is also negatively charged and some acidic dye like congo red and eocene etc are 
negatively charged souls. The charge on the colloidal particle is actually due to some reasons. So why the particles having charges? So that we need to discuss now. So this is also this is due to frictional electrification, selective adsorption of ions. From this, the most uh, important or we can say preferred reason is the second one. That is selective adsorption of ions. Now let us discuss this. Uh, uh, how actually the adsorption is taking place and why it is called as selective adsorption that we will be going to discuss through this example. Let silver nitrate, silver nitrate is mixed with Ki, here silver nitrate is taken in excess. So silver nitrate plus Ki gives the precipitate of we can say we get the AGI and this AGI will is shown here now this AGI uh, the common ion of AGI with AgNO3 that means AGI and AgNO which is in, taken in the excess that is AgNO3 what is the common ion between these two? That is, which one? Ag plus. Ag plus is common here. Excess, in excess, AgNO3 is taken. That is, silver nitrate is taken. And the formation of Ag is taken place here. So, in between these two, which is is excess? That is, Ag plus is excess. So, that ion, that is a common ion, it start to get adsorbed on the surface of AGI. That means there is a selective adsorption of a ion. Which ion is adsorbing here? Ag plus ion is getting adsorbed on the surface of AGI. So what type of charge is developed here? Here the charge is developed is positive. So we can say that it forms a positive soul positively charged soul now let us uh, if we take uh, agno3 plus x plus ki plus potassium, potassium iodide if you take ki in xx again the formation of agi is taking place now here which one is in the excess ki is in the excess and AGI and KE, KI, which is common ion in between these. Look at the equation and tell me which ion is common in AGI and KI. That is, I negative is common. In that case, I negative, that is iodide ion, it get adsorbed on the surface of AGI. Because of this reason, because I negative is negatively charged. So, we can say that it develops a negative charge on it. So, the soul is negative charge soul. So, that means this equation shows that there is a selective adsorption of ion. And which ion is selected? Which is common in between them. So, let us see a demonstration which will be help to understand how the adsorption is taking place and which ion is adsorbed. Let Xb is an particle and B is common ion present in the solution. So B start to adsorb on its surface. Similarly, when AgNO3 is added to excess of Ki at the time, AGI is formed. The common ion present in the solution is I negative. So, I negative start to adsorb on it to form negatively charged soul. So, from this uh, we can conclude that the particles of dispersed phase adsorb only those ions which are 
common with their own lattice ions. That means only the common ion will get adsorbed. Now as we have already discussed it develops a charges. It may be positive or negative depending upon the ion which get adsorbed. But in the solution there are some other ions also which may be positive or negative ions are there in the solution. So what happens as we know that the opposite charges attract each other. So in the solution there are some other positive and negative charges ions also there. So once it develop a first layer this is called as a first layer. Once it develop a first layer of charge it start to attract the opposite charge ion which is present in the solution. Like here it is positively charged so, so it will start to attract the negative ions which is present in the solution. Start to attract negative ions. So what happens here? One more layer is also developed. One more charge layer also develop around this. So we can say here two layers are developed. In the first layer is actually called as the first layer is due to the adsorption of ion which we have discussed that is selective adsorption of ion. This layer is called as the first layer is called as the adsorbed layer of ion and this is actually a fixed layer. We can say stationary layer or fixed layer that means it is fixed there. But uh, the second layer which is formed uh, that is due to the attraction of uh, charges by the first layer. So that is actually called as diffused layer or we can say mobile layer. It is not fixed. It will not be permanent. So this layer is uh, the second layer is opposite of the opposite charge of the first layer. So we can also discuss here this is the first layer which is positive charge. So the second layer must be negatively charged that is a diffused layer. So we can say that the two layers are formed here first layer and second layer. First layer is called as fixed layer and we can say stationary or fixed. The second layer is not fixed therefore it is called as diffused or mobile layer. The combination of two oppositively charged layers around the colloidal particle is called helmetos electrical double layer. So that means we have discussed two layers are formed and what uh, term is given for this double layer? Helmetos electrical double layer. So you can see in the first picture the first layer is positive charge. The first layer is positive charge, second layer is negative charge, opposite of that. In this, the first layer is negative, the second layer is positive. It should be the opposite of first. Because two oppositively charged layers are formed around the particle, so there will be a potential difference between them. So the potential difference between the two layers that is the stationary and mobile layer is called as electrokinetic or zeta potential. This is one of the uh, important question comes in the exam that what is zeta potential a definition will be asked. So let us summarize this part. We have discussed that uh, the particles of collides are charged and this charge may be positive or negative and the charge is due to preferential adsorption that means the selective adsorption of ion and the two layers which is formed here that is stationary and mobile and the two layers are combinedly called as helmetos double layer and the potential difference between the two layers is called as zeta potential. So in this way we have finished the uh, property that is charge on the colloidal particle. As we have discussed 
these charges are responsible for the stability of the colloidal solution so one reason we have already discussed for the stability that is brownian moment the second reason is due to the charge on the colloidal particles so the next property will be discussing in the next video thank you everyone